CBS 7's Brianna Gallegos has been at the campus all day. She joins us now with more details on what happened at Saul Ross today. Brianna? The campus is still on lockdown, and as you can see right behind me, police forces all over. They are active on foot and also in their vehicles. Just a moment before this, we saw some police officers drive onto campus in the back of the truck, and students say that they are on edge, and after what shook this small community of Alpine, it's going to be hard for them to focus on anything else. I was in class, you know, no more normal day, I didn't think anything was going to happen. You know, and then we started getting alerts on our phones. That's when students at Sol Ross State University received texts of an active shooter nearby. I was really scared. We just got on the floor and closed all the windows, barricaded the door. We didn't know what to do. After once we got that text message, we knew it was pretty serious and um, that they actually moved to Sol Ross. We didn't know there was a bomb threat. We just thought there were shooters. Until shortly after 11 a.m., a bomb threat was reported at the university and students were told to quickly evacuate. So I started freaking out, you know, and then finally a student comes in. He's like, there's a bomb threat. Everybody needs to evacuate right now. Charter bus after charter bus, students were transported off campus, taking shelter at the Civic Center, where these students among hundreds took shelter. It was a scary feeling. It's kind of a shock too, yeah. because it's yeah. Alpine and you don't really expect anything like that to happen. Yeah, I, I kinda, it's kind of like one of the safest, so. Such a small town, I didn't even think this could be, you know, be possible, but I guess anything, anything's possible. It has not been confirmed who has and who are making these threats right now. The FBI is investigating. They are all over campus. As for students, some of them say they don't know what they're going to do tonight, and all they have are either their cars or the Civic Center to stay in. Reporting live in Alpine, Brianna Gallegos, CBS 7 News.